Hey guys, I decided to take tonight off, and that's a lie. Uh, <laughs> I didn't decide. I kind of like fiddled around until it was too late, and then I went out and got stuff to make um, chili for our uh, department of potluck tomorrow. <clears throat> so that should be good. And just so you know, chili involves the following. <clears throat> tomato paste, tomato puree, hamburger, black beans. I have uh, I chopped up and then fried some uh, serrano peppers. Threw in some other uh, roasted chili peppers from a can. Then threw in some jalapenos. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> my coworkers are going to hate my guts. Hold on one second. Not much better. There, that'll do it. Yeah, so uh, this should be a nice hot chili. I'm really looking forward to it. My coworkers, well, probably not. They'll probably take a bite and go, what did you do? Because this is Indiana and these guys think uh, cottage cheese is spicy or white rice. Yeah, then mayonnaise is like whew, right on the brink. It's not quite that bad, but it's pretty close. In all honesty, it's pretty close. Um, we usually, like, okay, so we have potluck tomorrow. And it's, bring something with a letter C, which I'm like, cat? Can I bring cat? <laughs> I really had some plans on some, like, popcorn chicken. <laughs> I thought that'd be a fun one. Maybe get some, uh, mashed potatoes and just like set it on there and refer to it as cat. How'd you like the cat? Yeah. And then tomorrow night, we're actually, not tomorrow night, tomorrow is the potluck. Thursday night, we're doing a monthly um, go out to dinner, which, yay, spend money, which I don't have. But we're going to a, a really good Mexican restaurant in, uh, in Seymour. And everybody's like, oh, we need to do, we need to uh, support local restaurants, which is what we do. So you sit there and you're like, okay, the best restaurants in town are chains. We have one good um, a steakhouse, which is Reed's Place. And then we have a bunch of like mom and pop, but not very good restaurants. This one, though, is actually pretty good. Um, it's not a chain. It is a Mexican restaurant. So Seymour's main um, growth group, I'm trying to figure out how to put it. Not, English is not my friend's name. We have a lot of people that have been moving up from Guatemala. Very nice people. Their food is really bland. I mean exceptionally bland. It's not... <laughs> You think of Mexican food as spicy, and then you go to Mexico and you find out it's not. Now, when you get to the south of Mexico, it gets spicier. But what we would consider spicy is Tex-Mex. That is really spicy, and it is really good. And my chili is Tex-Mex chili, so it's going to be, like, deadly hot good. And, yeah, so when you go to most of our restaurants and you say, Ooh, what do you have that's picante? They look at you and they go... Oh, well, we have a little bit of Tabasco sauce you can put on it. It's like, dude, that's not spicy. I want something that, you know, I'm going to dread going to the bathroom for the next three days and probably find my liver. <laughs> hey, I lose weight. Holy crap. That's what I need to do. New plan. New weight loss technique. We're going to eat spicy food until I lose my liver. Okay. So, anyway... You know, that, so we're going to go to this Mexican restaurant, so that's going to be, and they're actually, the food's actually really good, so I'm, I'm excited. Um, there's another Mexican restaurant place in town called um, Blue Tequila. Azul Tequila, I'm sorry, Azul Tequila, but just Blue Tequila. That place is really good. Um, they have mole, and I love me some mole. So that'll be, we'll have to see if we can get everybody to go there, because it is a chain. It's a good one. Um, yeah, so that, that's what's going to happen over the next couple days. Uh, and now that all of this has been lifted off me as far as the Toyota visit, 
Anyway, customer visit. Um, <laughs> I can go back to normal, which means I need now to work on checking some uh, blueprints and making sure that my stupid ass program team hasn't forgotten something that the customer is requiring. And then I have to go through and um, fix a couple things. Everything that I'm dealing with right now is like, think, 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 easy peasy, hopefully. And that just leaves trying to figure out what the heck to do with uh, dating, which I don't know. I'm, I gotta do some thought, some thinking on this, some deep thoughts. And I'm not really sure where to go. Obviously, online dating is dreadful. It's just awful. But unfortunately, that's what I'm left with. Tinder was bad. Really bad. It's better, though, than what I'm stuck with, so I'm probably going to go back to it. I don't wanna. God in heaven. I saw one of the guys that I went on a date with. We'd actually, and this is weird, our, our date was to a bar. <laughs> because I'm like, yeah, this will be fun. And we go to the bar. Um, up, Greg's up in Indy. And we talked, and it was actually really cool. Uh, and then the next day, he told me that I was, uh, he didn't, he couldn't be in a relationship with another um, alpha. And I sat there, and I'm like, I'm not an alpha. I'm what they call a sigma. Which means I don't like being in charge of other people. I can lead but I don't like to be in charge. And I don't have a group of people that follow me around. Alphas like packs. Ah, I'm not a pack person. I have my person, and then outside of that, I don't really care. I don't need people to follow me around. Have I been like that? Yes. A couple friend groups I had that were built like that. And basically I'd say, okay guys, where are we going this weekend? And they're like, well, I don't know, we could do this, we could do that, and I says, how about, and I would come up with the ideas, and they'd be like, oh, yeah, that'd be great. And it's like, oh, my God, I don't like being in charge. I don't like leading. It, it's something I can do, but it's not, like, my goal. My goal is just to do my thing, and that's it. Find my person, settle down, behave, buy a house, get a dog, told you. That's it. That's all I really want. I'm not very, I'm not greedy. I don't require a lot. So, yeah. Life is simple. And I like it simple. Can it be complicated? Yep. Do I like it complicated? Sometimes. I'm listening to my sister talk. I don't know what I'm going to call this episode, by the way. <laughs> it really is I'm just like, just veering off in all directions. I was talking to my sister, and she is in Toronto, and she's on. The, she's actually spending the weekend, uh, part of the week in the weekend, with this guy that she's dating. Dating. And he has a lot of money. He's from Europe. He has a big, big ass house out west. And she is sitting there going, uh, "Their hotel room costs fifteen hundred dollars a night." She's like, we went out to dinner with him and his friends, and they're speaking many different languages because they all speak many different languages. And she goes, and when they ordered, they didn't order, you didn't order your own. The, the person that was in charge, that said, this is the restaurant I want to go to, let's go there, ordered for everyone. And she ordered enough food so that everybody's just taking what they wanted. And they could try all of it. And I'm like, yeah, that's how the Japanese business people do it. You order enough for everybody. And you just cut off the parts you want. Take what you want. I'm like, it's a really interesting and cool way to do things. If you have enough people, it's really nice. You can say, ooh, I'm going to try that. But I don't want the whole thing. That's a lot. But a little bit would be good. You just take what you want. And at the end, pretty much we cleared off everything. And it was amazing. The food of Mexico. And my sister was telling me the food that she had was good too. 
So it was like, oh, what's the problem? Well, I just felt so out of place. And I'm like, why? Now, the first time I saw this, I'm like, this is interesting, weird. But at the same time, it's like, oh, I like this. This is pretty cool. It's like you're with your family. And she was like, but all these people had all this money and they knew all these things and they had done all this stuff and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, and? She's like, well, I just felt like I was outclassed. And I'm like, we come from royalty. We should live like this. <laughs> Our ancestors lived like this. You should just nod your head and go with it. Yeah, but I couldn't afford to do that. Said, They're not asking you to afford to do that. So you just do what you do. You're there with somebody who said they're taking care of stuff for you, so you just let them. That's how it works. That's why when I used to take my ex-husband to fancy restaurants and he'd sit there and get all plussed about it, I'm like, dude, stop. What do you want to eat? Well, I want this. Then order it. Yeah, but it's, you know, $75. And I'm like, and? Order it. We're going to have a good time. This is going to be a good meal. And if it's not, I'm going to throw a fit. <laughs> but you know what I mean. It's the experience. And yeah, you know, you walk out of a restaurant and you pay, you know, $250 for a meal for two. You're like, God damn. But it was a great meal. We had a good time. And that's all that matters. You're... It, you know, you just sit there like, what is, what is, you know, feeling out of place? You're never out of place. You might not understand what's happening around you quite, but you're not out of place. There is no place that I can stand where I am not where I need to be and doing what I need to do. I need to remember that. I gotta hold that one real close. Somewhere out there's a guy that's saying, I don't know if I could afford, I would, if I would, bleh, if I would wanna pay more than 10 bucks for a meal. And it's like, oh, I know places we can go. And you will walk out going, I have never had such good food in my life. And you don't even have to spend a lot of money to go to places like that. Sometimes it's fun to go to places that are expensive just to see what it's like. Like going to a um, uh, Brazilian steakhouse or a Brazilian, yeah, Brazilian steakhouse where they like carve the meat off for you. And you're like, wow, this is really weird. And you eat meat, meat, meat. And then you're finally like, oh my God, I'm full. And that was such fun. Okay, guys. Um, like I said, I have no idea what I'm going to call this. I love you guys. I love you, dude. Somewhere out there is a guy that's looking for me. And... I'm here.